yeah so today uh, we have seen about the s3 bucket how can we create the bucket and how can we delete the bucket upload some object into that and how can we access the bucket publicly okay, okay. Uh, do you have any doubt into the previous session or related no, no. to the s3 bucket fine 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 okay yeah. so <clears throat> now we are going to mount uh, we are going to create a bucket and mount that bucket on the windows machine okay so let's see how can we mount a s3 bucket on a windows machine okay so first let's create a machine into the ec2 section okay we are just going to create a simple machine simple windows machine so we can see the disk is available or not okay now just click on the launch instance and just give the win server name or you can give any and select the windows one okay now select the windows s3 keep your name and everything set as default now just launch the instance okay the instance is successfully launched now go to the s3 bucket okay as you can see on the s3 panel there is no bucket right now okay so we are going to create a s3 bucket into there we have already created a ec2 instance for mount you can see there is one instance is running windows instance and let's access this windows instance first yeah with the rdp and just open the rdp tool paste the name of that and now add okay once it is added we can simply connect it with the username and the password it will ask for the username and the password now give the username here now get the password so it's take approx four minutes okay till the time we can create the s3 bucket here okay so we can click on the create bucket and now give the name <coughs> my windows bucket for iu backup we can give any name as per our requirement okay and now everything set as default okay i'm just uh, going to uh, securely access this bucket through the authentication user okay i'm not going to make publicly bucket i'm not going to make a public bucket here i just simply create the button bucket paste that password continue you can see we are able to access the instance yes okay now uh, we have uh, created the bucket into the aws section as you can see now we are going to mount this bucket or attach this bucket to the windows instance or to the windows machine we can also attach this bucket to our laptop to our personal laptop we can attach a bucket to our personal laptop also okay in the similar way we are using the aws aws compute resource now as you can see on that here currently you can see there is there is only a single drive okay we are going to create one network drive here okay or we can uh, we can create any uh, any letter of the drive okay so now for the s3 bucket mount mounting there are lot of tools or lot of client tool available into the market but we are using some free version like uh, we are using first go to the google drive 
google.com drive go to the download section here we download the tnt drive Now click that one. You can see it is downloaded. Now save that one and run. Go to the download section and run that file. Yeah. Now run this. We have to accept that license and install that tnt drive for all user once it is successful okay so now i just go to the restart that system it will take some time to up okay or might be our <coughs> i you can see password is wrong now we grab again the password sorry let me copy the password and if this password is not working we have to upload again the key now just try to upload that key again cancel one and just click on the connect again we have to upload again the key because it will generate random password for that okay get the password and upload the key yeah this is the key for the pam and decrypt the password yeah this one is the password and now try to connect with that now you can see it's work and opening the system with the server manager yeah now you can see tnt drive is successfully installed it on that system now just simply double click on that it will run the tnt program and you can see we are going to map a drive okay it is drive it is similar to the this one it is similar to the c drive or the d drive okay we can use as a, a normal drive so now okay. click on that one here we need a storage account okay what type of storage account we need a storage account of the aws Okay, TNT drive is a part of AWS. It is uh, recommended by the AWS, so we can use that. Now here we have to provide the account name, account type and access key and the secret key. Okay, to secure that one, we will create a separate user for the S3 bucket. Okay, we, mm -hmm. we, never, we never provide the root account access ID and the password. We will EMI. use, uh, yeah, we will use IAM user, S3 IAM user to that particular S3 bucket access. So now we have to create the IAM user. Okay, now just go to the IAM section. Into the IAM section, let's open into the new tab. Here you can see. go to the user section okay this is created uh, 23 hours ago but we are going to create it freshly so just give the name my s3 user for mumbai this is the username for that okay it will delete yeah you can see there is no user right now we are going to add a user so what type of user we need to give access we need to give access as a programmatic access okay we need to choose the credential type as a access key and with the programmatic so now give the name first s3 okay here give the name s3 windows user now click on that access key programmatic access so we can configure that with the 
we can configure the this user to the api and cli sdi means generally for the command line tools okay we can use this as a command line tools now next for the permission now we are going to attach some existing permission we are giving just the full access to the user to this particular user for the s3 bucket we can give the only for the read or the delete we will see it later how the read only access work and the lot of thing okay now just click the next okay so i just give the name uh, department and i just give the developer or the it person okay now just uh, just give me a minute hello yeah yeah so we have uh, add a success add a user and review that policy and the permission for that username is that and the, we give the access type as a programmatic and give the policy so we have assigned the permission as a s3 full access now just simply create the user once the user is created it will show us the access id and the secret access key we can download this one okay to save the access id and the secret id or we can simply copy the username and the password and paste it directly to the target section so now uh, on the windows machine okay it will ask for the account name id and all thing account name we can give any any of the name okay it will assign a general name to you okay it is only for the remember purposes suppose i give the name client one okay and account type account type we can choose the account type here we can choose the lot of thing okay so now i just select the s3 bucket and give the access key id so we have to copy from the aws section here is the access key id now paste this key id on the here yeah hello yeah so uh, as so uh, we have pasted the access key id here now we need secret key access so let's go to the aws panel and copy the secret key id okay. okay now click on the add new account okay it is currently added okay now just click on the save changes okay once it is save changes done here you can see account is successfully selected now we have to select the s3 bucket path which you want to mount on that okay right. so once i click on that you can see there is only a single bucket into my s3 account okay so if i go to my s3 management console you can see there is only a single bucket okay if i just create a bucket for the demo purposes okay uh, if i want to cross check that the sync is working at my end or not bucket name should be the unique and if i just create the bucket and if i go to the my windows instance and then cancel that and again i check on that folder you can see there is two bucket okay means it is it will sync into the real time okay okay yeah. so i select this one because i created this one for my windows backup okay i select that one and just click on that here we can give the map drive letter so uh, c is already assigned that's why c is not there okay we can choose any one which is available so we can choose that e letter right now we, it's depend on you you can choose any one now just add a new drive okay yeah now go to the this pc you can see it is attached on my network location okay and there is nothing into that file and that bucket it is empty right now okay 
and yeah. this user have the if i just go to the user section account section okay this client one have user have only the only the full access permission okay if i uh, let me uh, let me create another scenario first let me complete this okay if i create some document into that file okay it will real time sync into the s3 bucket if i just create multiple folder here let me okay if i uh, create multiple folder here it will sync into the real time into the s3 bucket so let me go to the s3 bucket if i just click on that you can see there is lot of folder mm -hmm. available Okay. okay, it's vice versa, right? If we create, yeah, it is, also. yeah, it is vice versa. It is the two way. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And if I delete something from here, you can see. If I delete something from here, and we have to just give the confirmation. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we go to the Windows machine. You can see the folder is not there. If I just copy, refresh this folder is not there. Okay, 